Well hi there again folks. Now you may or may not have seen my two latest creations where I converted a five pound chuck glider into an RC model. This one with a single motor and also this one which I built with using four drone motors. Now build blocks and the really great maidens for both of those are on my channel but it got me into the idea that I really enjoyed flying these small lightweight planes. Anyway a while back I built if that's the word, a flight test F-22 Raptor. Now basically flight test, I don't know if you know the site, but they put lots of free plans online, download the plans online, print them out tiled, stick them all together, cut out the foam board, very cheap, and you can build stuff. I'll put a link to it. Great site anyway, flight test. So I came up with the idea of building a mini version of the flight test F-22 Raptor. This is my modified flight test original large one and this is my scaled down 50% small one. So let's take a closer look. Smaller obviously, lighter, just over the 100 grams mark. Haven't maidened it yet but I'm confident it's going to fly well. COG just in the right place here where it's supposed to be. But we'll take a closer look at that at the end of the video. This video coming up is a detailed build blog and my design process. Let's get on with it. So what I did was went online, downloaded the plans and I've scaled it down to 50% size so basically it's going to be that long and just that wide. I'm going to build it as lightweight as possible, hopefully around the 100 grams mark, similar to this little chuck glider, five quid chuck glider that I built motor I'm using is the same as on this which is a BR1104. The receiver I'm using is really tiny. You can get these for about £7 from Banggood. I'll put links to this stuff online. The battery I'm using is £5, 200mAh 2S, same as in the Mini Lidl here. And that flies beautifully by the way, I'll link that on, online. Prop, a couple of pounds. And I'm going to use, these are 9 gram servos, I'm going to use two six gram servos they're about five pounds each so call that 10 plus postage say 12 and of course you need a speed controller which is probably about 10 pounds anyway let's get on with it stop rabbiting and cut these out that's going to be a nice little job here we go right well progress has been made a lot of scraps of paper here and around here there's the big one and underneath is my half size one so i'm going to proceed now and cut this out and glue that part together. Stage two. And as I thought, no problem at all getting out of even a less than a full sheet of foam board. Right, well I've cut out my bits and pieces. As you can see, very simple construction. These are the two vertical stabs. These are the flapper ons And the way the nose is going to fit is it will just have a couple of slots cut into it so that it will slide on. That's where I'm going to glue it, that line along there. Hot glue along there. And of course that will, when that's on the end there, that gives a nice little square plate there for the motor to be mounted on. You might ask why did I bother to scale down another plan? At least I know that I've got a kind of airframe then that's got potential to fly. Whereas if I'd just come up with the idea and drawn one roughly to shape, not necessarily so much chance of success. Right, okay, I'm going to cut my slots and um, continue actually might start putting doing a bit of hot gluing I'm still waiting for the servos the five gram servos so it could be held up a bit but anyway almost there back in a bit well it's beginning to take shape the nose slides on nicely and as I said creates a nice little cross shape at the back end of it for the to glue the motor mount on I'll probably recess it a little bit to give the motor a little bit of clearance hot glue hot glue hot glue hot glue and the idea is that the speed controller and receiver will be under here and that tiny little 200 milliamp battery here two servos here somewhere the point of balance is just there i think actually on the plan so i'll figure out where the servos are going to go once i see how it looks like it's going to balance with the motor here and those flapper ons but i'm quite pleased with the way this is taking shape my own little creation the mini f22 raptor so i'll come back when i've done a bit more Right, well not glued into place yet and I've made a little recess for the tiny little motor that's going to go in there. I don't know I don't know how on earth I'm going to make a bulkhead for that. 
the motor I bought from eBay didn't actually come with screws which was a bit of a pain. Fortunately the Banggood one does come with screws. I'm quite pleased with the way that looks and of course once these are stuck up here like that will look even prettier. Yes. I think I'm probably just about ready to glue this now. I think the idea's worked out really well. And I've just discovered this on page 17 of those um, tiled pages. Pretty sure that's the template you use to set the angle of the vertical stabs on it, the two vertical stabs. Right, well one little puzzle I had was how on earth I was going to mount this tiny little motor. Didn't actually come with any screws but I actually found four in my screw box that fit. As you can see they're very short, not much bigger than the depth of a thumbnail. The thin plywood I had was too thick for mounting this motor so I actually used a bit of plastic from a, a filler scraper just a lovely thickness and I came up with the idea of using a bit of sellotape to make a template to mark out the mounting holes in the plastic and that worked really well. Well it's beginning to take shape I've glued this together now plus I've put on the vertical stabs and used the template to make sure I've got the angles right on both sides. When I first started building foamies I used to put a complete bead of glue along everywhere for strength but all it does is add weight and the other thing I've decided is so that the receiver and the speed controller Esky are slightly protected I am going to add a bit underneath like so because it'll look quite nice but it does add about another 10 or 12 grams or something. Ah the other thing I've done is mounted the motor on that tiny little bit of plastic. This is the smallest motor I've ever mounted. That certainly was an engineering challenge, getting those holes lined up. And I'll mount it in position with a couple of little blobs of hot glue. Next thing I, I do is mount the flapper on. So I've cut the 45 degree bevel and as I haven't got any mylar I'll use a bit of old 35mm film. Right, sorted. And I did manage to cut my hand. Useless boy. And now fitting the hinges, if you're not familiar with that. I just cut a couple of little slots here as close to the top surface as possible like that. The idea being that you stick these in with Yoohoo Pour or something, make a slot on the corresponding position on the other side and use you who pour because it I don't think you could use hot glue in fact it melts this stuff if you put hot glue on and then tuck that into the hole and you've got hinges okay well I'll let those dry and then I will cut some slots and insert them in the wing this is beginning to look like an aircraft just wanted to point out a couple of things if you're thinking of building a small one or even the big flight test F-22 Raptor the COG marked on the plan is just here so you do have to be very careful about putting weight further back because as it is you've got motor behind here you've got the flaps I'm going to do my best to put the servos somewhere up this end I'm certainly going to put them as far up here as I can as close to the centre as possible once the speed controller and receiver in here and the battery in here hopefully it'll be okay but I'm going to try and make sure that I put enough weight up here to avoid having to add a lump of lead we'll see how we get on as I said, I'm trying to make it not too heavy, but I think you get 100 grams of thrust with it from this with a 302. I'll put, it on, I'll put it in comments. So even around 100 grams, it should be okay. Right, well, one more step taken. Base plate, well, the side bits are on, because in fact, I've not actually fixed this. I'm gonna wait until I've actually sorted out the speed controller, receiver, and so on. But I think servos for the flaperons should go in just there quite a long control arm but I can put a tube here to give it a bit of support but that'll mean I'll keep I'm keeping the weight really well forward plus it also means I don't have to stick it through the, the wing which would look pretty ugly and as you can see my hinges worked really beautifully on these that looks actually quite tidy I must admit after making half a dozen of flight test things from my own cutouts I am getting a bit cleaner at doing it because this is actually quite quite clean and tidy if you saw some of the early ones you'd say my god what are you doing some of the early ones were a mess. Okay, anyway, I'll be back once I've made some more progress. Well, I'm still waiting for the servo so that I can finish this. I've fitted the motor. 
but in the meantime I've given the model a bit of decoration. Now you probably know it's very important to know which side of the model you're looking at when you're flying it, which is the top and which is the bottom. So, pretty simple design on the top, mostly white with my red bits at the side, but I had lots of little decals around because I've done actually I think about eight or nine little glider conversions and I use those to try and be a bit creative underneath and I'm well pleased with that. Anyway, hopefully it won't be long before I can finish this. So, catch you in a bit. Yes! Well, take a look at this. Progress has been made in leaps and bounds. Well, as you can see, I'm at the final stages and everything is working. Got my control arms on here, got my 6 gram servos in and I've got them well forward and that has paid off because with the speed controller and receiver way up here as far as I can get a model finder here and the battery here it just about balances perfectly on the centre of gravity marks. So I've got to give it a final check, glue that cover on, make a little foam ball stand off there to hot glue that, hot glue that onto, the, onto there, they're going to be fine had a little minor disaster when this little plug here I've made to plug into that which wasn't very well marked at the time testing having got everything set up properly plugged that in but plugged it in the wrong way as you can see I've got it really nicely marked now positive and negative but plugged it in the wrong way the battery got in intensely hot in five seconds I unplugged it but afterwards receiver wouldn't connect I thought I thought the speed controller and the receiver might have been damaged as it happened managed to get it going again I had to rebind the receiver it had blown that out and there was nothing wrong with the speed controller but big lesson there never be in too much of a hurry other little disaster I had was trimming this because I was worried that that might chafe I managed to cut through one of the wires which left about one and a half millimeters of wire for me to actually try and solder to right there there was nothing you know I thought I thought it was going to cost me a new motor seven pounds but I managed to solder it and I put some hot glue on it to cover it as much as I could do but I'm well pleased with it I'm actually quite a tidy little installation and all that's all I've got to do as I say to actually finish it is put that on and glue those on and it's going to be ready for a maiden and I think the weight is still not much more than 100 grams so that motor and prop should be enough if not I have got a slightly bigger prop that I can go on so back in a bit right so here it is ready for its maiden and I'm well pleased with it. First off, my efforts at keeping the weight forward, servos forward, speed control, everything up here ahead of the CG mark have paid off. It just needed three grams of lead there to get the CG right. That's the 200 milliamp 2S and with that as far forward as I would like to have it, it just balances perfectly. Just here, slight nose down attitude. So I'm well pleased with that. This is all glued up here, little stand off there for this. One thing I've done, and I did this with the big version, was I had a little skid here because it's quite hard to throw this unless you've got something to get hold of. Whereas with that there, it's an easy throw. Let's fire it up. Make sure I connect this the right way. As I said, a disaster before. Probably put a bit of tape on that or something. But that, that goes nicely. Quite pleased with the installation it's quite a screecher I'm not quite prop hang with that but it's certainly got quite a lot of thrust there I'm very confident it's gonna fly okay anyway that's it finished ready for the maiden don't forget to give it a like if you've enjoyed it and maybe even subscribe check out some of my other vids lots of RC stuff and drones and my little glider conversions and paragliding paramotoring and a load of other stuff but that's it for now. Hopefully I'll catch you all later when the Maiden's online. Bye for now.